part. Okay. okay, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to take down the graph. So as you can see, the stitches are sewn just around the graft here, right, right, the, right through the graft and around the sponges. So instead of cutting down at the, the base, all we're going to do is cut through the sponge and it releases all these stitches that are holding it in place. So this is all you have to do is cut right through there. It feels a little weird. Mm -hmm. It's not painful, but it's, it feels a little bit of pressure. So sometimes people get a little bit, uh, you know, uneasy about that. So all I'm doing is cutting through the, the sponge to release those stitches. I never have to go down to the skin because it's just not necessary. Because once I release all those stitches, as you can see, the sponge opens right up and you can see that there's nothing really holding it on there. So then I hold down that little piece of gel in it right at the base and I peel the sponge right off. And then I can take this piece of gel in it right off to reveal his absolutely stunning nipple and areola. It looks perfect. So now there's little stitches around the edges so I'm just pulling those out. These are the ones that were holding it on that I cut from the top. And when he looks at it, it's going to look a little bit weird to him but this is absolutely perfect. And there's a little bit of discharge at the front and the top of the nipple there, and that's not unusual to get that, so that does happen, and we'll clean that off in just a minute. Now, right at the top here, there is one little knot, and so I'm just going to clip that, and then there's a stitch that runs all the way around. Sometimes it's a bit difficult to see it, and if you don't get it and it doesn't become apparent today, usually within the next few days you can get it, but... Um, I sort of know where it is, so I'm going to go after it. So you can see a little bit of the... And if, if it does happen to leave a little piece in it, it's not, uh, it's not the worst thing. So I'll just give it a little pull. And sometimes this is where they feel a little bit of pressure. And that's not uncommon either to get a little bit of oozing at the top that just indicates good blood supply. So you can see the way this is running all the way around it and I'm pulling this out and now there's absolutely nothing left in there. So now I'll just take this. I'm going to dab this little bit of area here where it's a little bit of a discharge but that's stunning. It looks absolutely perfect. So now we're ready for side two.